The Paris attacks are drawing attention to how terrorism is funded. CBS News senior national analyst Juan Zarate was the first ever assistant secretary of the Treasury for terrorist financing and financial crimes. And he wrote a book about it, Treasury's War, the Unleashing of a New Era of Financial Warfare. Juan Zarate joins us now from our Washington Bureau. Juan, good morning. Good morning, Vanita. It's really a fascinating topic. Is it local? Is it global? What have you found? Well, especially with the Islamic State, they've developed a hybrid economy, a war economy that they're operating with a portfolio that allows them to raise hundreds of millions of dollars from numerous sources. They run oil fields, oil smuggling, uh, oil infrastructure. Uh, they engage in extortion and taxes in the areas they control, like Mosul. Uh, they engage in uh, payments for electricity in, in the areas that they govern. Uh, they are in the kidnap for ransom trade. And so they've developed a whole diversity of sources that allows them to not only govern, but then to uh, pay their fighters and also to plot and to plan attacks in the West. One in, in October, a Treasury official called ISIS, quote, probably the best funded terrorist organization we have uh, confronted. You agree? I think that's right, Anthony. Unfortunately, they raise hundreds of millions of dollars from uh, not only internal sources, but also some external support. And what we've allowed them to do is to create this war economy, in essence, controlling territory, resources, some of the most important oil fields in Syria, for example, some of the oil infrastructure in Iraq, uh, and they basically run an economy and they have emirs and elements of their infrastructure that are running these power plants, running these oil installations, uh, and that's how they raise money and that's how they operate. One of the fundamental differences you hear about ISIS and Al-Qaeda is also social media. How have they used that to their advantage in terms of raising money or have they? Well, Vanita, the Islamic State has relied less on external sources of funding. Unlike Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda had relied very much on external donors, external charities, uh, external uh, foreign fighters bringing money into the organization. Uh, the Islamic State has really gone with an inside-out model. They've created an economy that allows them to raise funds. They're also now asking the, the conscripts, the foreign fighters coming in, uh, to raise money, bring money with them. So you see some of the foreign fighters selling their passports, for example, to have money to be able to sustain themselves and to pay for their, their services, their fees. When, when a group relies on external funding, one, there are ways to shut that down, freeze assets and things like that. But so, so how do you attack ISIS's funding if it's internal? Well, it's a great question because the playbook that we used for the last 13, 14 years uh, has been devastating on al-Qaeda, on Iran, uh, North Korea. And the essence of that is to isolate these rogue elements from the international financial and commercial order. Uh, in, the, in this instance, the Islamic State, though it has connectivity to that order, it has brokers that they deal with, uh, has some bank accounts, money service businesses, etc., they really are running a local economy. So at the end of the day, you actually have to divorce them from the resources. You have to dislodge them from the, the oil fields. You have to take away their uh, access to populations and to economies. That's very difficult, and that means you have to physically get in there. There's no magic button that you can push from New York. All right, a big challenge. Uh, Juan Zarate in Washington, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you.